what is going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is paul also known as the north man and you join us today as we are looking at custom views in football manager a way to improve your experience when playing the game by making it visually look better and that is in terms of how you judge players how you look at players how you scout players etc and not how the skin looks that's for another video but we have downloaded from Passion for FM and FM Stag their custom views to look at two different options you have to download, both of which have very good and high quality and detailed views for you to download. Now, in terms of tutorial on how to download them, both posts, which are linked in the description, have that for you to look at and understand where you put it. But it's basically in the My Documents sports interactive football manager 2023 views now if you don't have a views folder you create one put in there and they will appear in your game so if we go to the squad screen to start with you can see i've got view updated we've got general info here on the left hand side that is how your game will look when you start you then go to custom import view you can see i've imported a few here to check out so you click import view and then the only difference i would say is passion for fm comes in this big long list of different ones now they are titles so you can see this is for training this is for tactics this is for my squad view this is for scouting etc now fm stag comes very nicely i would say in a separate folder so you go into the fm 23 views and then we are looking at the squad screen so you select squad screen and then you have the options of all attributes main main include stats selling considerations training and youth teams so i've already uh, downloaded imported main and main including stats let's have a look at selling considerations because i'm curious how that is going to change this screen okay so we click okay then one tip to do you can see here at the bottom it's got a bar at the minute to scroll Click the right hand button anywhere along the top line and click auto size all columns. And that's auto size and fit on my screen. Now I'm using a 32 inch widescreen computer monitor. I have two of them side by side. And some of these views are still quite small on my screen. So if you are using a small resolution, make sure you do maybe remove a few things. So for example, if the homegrown stage you don't want, right click on it click remove this column and there you go straight away it's dropped in right click again auto size all columns straight away it's added a bit more width on a few of them so this is what it looks like though on this screen so you have the value when the contract's expiring current ability and potential determination minutes and average rating so are you using them players are they worth keeping hold of um recurring injury so if a player's got an injury which keeps popping up etc um, and if we have a look at another one, um, so that's the FM Stag one. You've got the FM Stag main here, which again has a bit of information. Now you can move things around. So for me, I like to have position selected on the left hand side. And position role duty, I probably wouldn't want. So I would remove that. Then I would, again, as we've done before, auto size all the columns to get it looking smooth again. Now, if we go to custom, you can see here we have the Passion for FM squad detailed. And within this one, you've got the squad selection, the players, the ability, the um, potential, personality, distance covered, which is something I like to see. Then you've got all the stuff down the side there from goal scoring to defending. So you can look at the attributes and see who is performing the best. But these are examples of what custom squad views look like. And I mean, for myself, it's very time consuming to piece together a custom view which you find you find fits. And I find it fascinating that these people of Passion for FM and FM Stag have both pieced together fantastic ones, which not only save me time, but I feel might actually be better than something I can piece together. I might miss one of these out. So definitely worth going to download. Now over on the tactics screen, some things again. So if you're trying to decide what player to put in this position, you have here who is the best in that position, etc. Now what you can go to here now is we go to custom. We import a view on this screen. And I have seen that FM Stag had one. So you go to tactics. 
and you have um tag you have set piece select a pop up player etc but if we go to main and click load the view is not valid for this current panel okay so i've selected the wrong one but as you see it very clearly lets you know if you're selecting something which doesn't fit that panel so if we go to select info go to customize again import view i'm guessing it's this pop-up player select i probably should have read the post on fmstack.com better to, to look at that let's have a look it's imported successfully a happy day so if we right click again auto size all columns okay so this looks like this one now okay so if we click on that again we scroll to the top we have the player we have the roller do you know a football manager we need to work on this this is an fm style you've got the player the position appearances games won in that position percentage and then the average rain so this um macnab in the two appearances three subs games won ratio is a hundred percent i mean i'm starting to think he should be starting every single game if that's a, the situation when it comes to him i mean he's only started a couple of games uh three sub appearances he's a decent enough player on a non-contract but 100 percent that, that's by the by let's move on so now we're over on the tactics screen we go on to custom again on the overview here i'm looking at players who we've scouted i'm going to go to overview i'm going to customize and import a current view and this time we are going to check out passion for fm so again we will scroll down and we are looking for one that says tactics sorry i'm um, scouting yep i promise i know what i'm doing so we have a few here we have um scout view all in one player scouting um dc scouting all in one fullback scouting goalkeeper scouting okay so that's defending um etc etc but we go to the all in one scouting so that view is not valid for okay that's not valid so we're learning we're learning so let's import again why is that one not valid when it's a scouting okay play search i'm assuming it's this one then play search shortlist no we want play search let's load that one that's not valid as well okay so which one is valid for this this is one thing i would say maybe that type of thing needs explain better because this is scouted players this is my shortlist this is scouted players recruitment team no it's not a recruitment scouting view scouted scouted players is it this one it is this one we are getting somewhere part of it will be me part of it won't be because i refuse to take the blame for everything so let's have a look see how this let's go back to the overview so you have position club player age ability role transfer wage and um, recommendation and knowledge okay then we go to the custom one and we load this passion for fm one so you have preferred foot is in there now and um, position ability potential maximum asking price transfer value you have the wage you have the next step okay okay i like that so we can add we can remove them whatever you have the style, scouting opinion of this player's style, and then you have the morale. But the whole point of this video is to show you that these custom views exist. The whole point is to show you that on each screen, there are custom views which have been designed. Um, they are something new to me in terms of downloading them instead of trying to create things myself. And I want to share them with you so you know that they are out there. So the link is in the description. Please go and check it out. Please download them. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time for more hints and tips and experiments on my channel. I've been Paul, also known as The Northman.